If you're even slightly on the fence of updating to the new macOS Sequoia from the old macOS Sonoma, this video is going to change your mind. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips. The biggest difference between these two macOSs has to be Apple Intelligence. Apple Intelligence will be huge for Mac, allowing you to summarize long documents, create audio transcripts, generate images from text, and even an incredible overhaul of Siri as we know it. This feature alone is going to greatly affect things in our productivity, creativity, and even our usability. But as you can imagine, Apple Intelligence, as powerful of a tool that is going to be, is probably going to place a huge demand on our Mac computers. It may perfect performance on our computers compared to the old Mac OS Sonoma, but there are practical things to do to prepare our computers for the installation of Mac OS Sequoia. That means clearing out old junk files like cache files or temporary files that were never deleted, getting rid of settings or apps on your Mac that you haven't used in a long time, and also optimizing performance by running maintenance tasks and scanning for malware. Doing all of that manually is going to be very annoying and very time consuming, but there is an app called Clean My Mac that will do that all in one click. I highly recommend this app so much because it has made my life so much easier by keeping my Mac up to date and up to shape for new software updates like Mac OS Sequoia. Now, if you want to try it out, there's a link down in the description box below to start a free trial or download the full version if you want to get started today. I highly recommend Clean My Mac. Now, going back to the differences between the old Sonoma and the new Sequoia, we have to talk about customization. The problem of multitasking Windows is finally done because now we have window tiling. macOS Sequoia allows you to drag windows to the edge of a screen or a corner to quickly arrange your windows into tiles, or you can invoke different tiled layouts with keyboard shortcuts. Another new big feature is iPhone mirroring. Now you can completely control your iPhone straight from your Mac with the ability to drag and drop files between your iPhone and your Mac, and you can receive iPhone notifications on your Mac. And all those passwords and keys that we have for our apps, our web browsers, our accounts, all that stuff is now stored in one place called the Passwords app. This app is included in macOS Sonoma and it syncs across all your data between your iPhone, Macs, and iPads. The old macOS Sonoma has introduced some pretty cool updates to video conferencing, like appearing as a bubble overlay when you share your screen in a call and using your iPhone as a webcam. And the new macOS Sequoia adds to that success by introducing a new feature where you could preview what you're about to show in a video conference before you make it go live. When it comes to Safari, the old Sonoma introduced that feature where you can turn a web page into a web app that you can store into your dock so you can just quickly access it from your dock but mac os sequoia builds on top of that success as well in sequoia the reader view is significantly improved and there's a new video player that detects when you're playing a video and puts it front and center there's also a new information button at the left of the url and when you click it safari displays information like maps directions to a bar restaurant or movie theater last but not least and one of the coolest features for me personally is an update to the notes app because now you can record audio straight to your notes tablet like during your lectures or your meetings and that audio gets transcribed into written form then you can combine that transcript to checklists or other documents so that all of that information is in one place plus you could start to highlight things in your own colors as well and one of the coolest updates to the notes app is that you can write down expressions or equations and now the notes app can solve it when you just type the equal sign and your math problems are now solved so out of all the new features that i just mentioned comment down below about what feature you're looking looking forward to when you upgrade from the old Sonoma to the new Sequoia. And if you need any more tips to speeding up your Mac, there's a video link right here. Click that to get you started. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more pro Mac tips.